Before you begin cleanup, have people and pets exit the room, open an outdoor window or door, and leave the room for 5 to 10 minutes. You should also shut off the heating and AC system. You will need a glass jar with a metal lid or sealable plastic bags, sticky tape or duct tape, damp paper towels or disposable wet wipes, and stiff paper or cardboard. In a real situation, you may also want to wear gloves and protective goggles. To begin, carefully scoop up the fragments using the cardboard or stiff paper and place them in the jar. You should also put the paper or cardboard in the jar when you finish. If you use sealable plastic bags for this step, be sure to get them out of the house immediately because they won't prevent the mercury vapor from escaping. Use the tape to pick up any remaining fragments or powder and place this tape in the sealable jar. Wipe the area clean using the towel and then place this towel in the glass jar. Because vacuuming may actually help spread mercury vapor, it is not recommended unless the other steps fail to pick up all the fragments. If you decide to use a vacuum, be sure to keep a window or door to the outdoors open and use the vacuum hose. Once finished, you should remove the vacuum bag or empty and wipe the canister and get all debris outdoors. You should take all your debris outdoors and put them in a protected area until they can be disposed of. You should also wash your hands and continue to leave the heating and AC system shut off for several hours to allow the room to air out. First, you should avoid leaving any materials indoors. Check with your local government about disposal requirements. Some governments may require you to take CFLs to local recycling centers. If there are no requirements, you can dispose of the materials with your regular household trash.